Winchester Turkey Loads, trusted by generations of hunters. Quality. Consistency. Tight patterns. Extreme knockdown power. Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. about April 25th and we've had the worst weather in Tennessee. The spring has come in really slow, cold, rainy, hot for three days, cold for two days, hot for four days, cold for two days and raining. It's been miserable. I've been waiting for the weather to break and today I think it finally did. Tim Bassanio and I go way back. We've hunted together a million times and he was filming for me today. He's wanting to learn a lot more about turkey hunting. Truth of the matter is, you know, you got to find somebody that's kind of made more mistakes than you have. So we've stomped around the Tennessee woods quite a bit this spring. We pulled up in this farm that I've hunted and killed a million birds over the years. It's just a great farm to hunt. There's always birds here. And there was a bird strutting in the farmer's front lot. So we just let him strut on out of sight and let him just kind of go do his thing with the hen. I told Tim, Give him long enough and he'll get off from her or she'll get off from him. They, uh, there's a shelf and I, I saw a bird in this direction. Yeah. It's about 1030. So we're just going to see if we can hit him. Oh. Did you hear a call? Heck yeah, man. Did Yeah, uh, no doubt. He's live. But you know, Tim, if we set up right here, dude, it's too thick. Okay. Okay, look, look. I agree. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop back. We're going to drop back a good 100 yards. He knows we're here. Yeah. A good 80, 50 to 75 to 100 yards, somewhere in that zone, whatever looks good. And when we do, it's like a hen that's moved. Oh, well, let's go. Let's just, let's just try it, Tim. Do it right here, Tim. All right. Yeah, I mean, it. When, look, by the time he gets, by the time he gets, I mean, we're in the shade, dude. He's gonna be a little backlit. There's some structure in front of us, and so, but he's gonna be in that field as he's gonna have to hunt us. <laughs> I don't like it. You like it like that. Okay. I'll be there. He that? Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't hear you. He must cut me off. I think he cut me off. If you, I, if you heard him, I, I didn't hear him. So if, if, he, if, you, if you know it was a gobble. Yeah, yeah, he came in right on the end. Okay, okay, then good. This means there's too much. Okay, okay, shit. okay, 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 okay. That's enough adrenaline to kill a man right there, ain't it, Tim? Heck yeah, man. Beautiful. We put him out of his misery. He's limping. Yeah. Little Winchester whiplash. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Jericho shout. <laughs> what a worthy opponent. Spring Chronicles, you gotta love it, man. 11 o'clock when we shot this bird. 
And again, the tactic we used was to actually pull back. Sometimes just pulling back, you do a couple of things. You give yourself more time to think through your setup. A lot of times when a bird gobbles, you, you freak out. We all do, oh my gosh, he's right there. Well, if, if he can't see you and he can't hear you, drop back sometimes. It, it, it's amazing what that does. It, it fools with his head. It makes him think a hen's moving. So it adds realism. It gives you a little time to really think through. When that bird gobbles, look behind you. Look for what he's going to see. And we were set up in the shadows. There were no, no way he was going to see us coming up that field edge. When, when you get one to gobble after 10 o'clock, you better go ahead and find a place to sit down pretty quick because it can happen pretty fast. We killed this bird in about seven minutes.